Hey guys, it's Shannon and today I thought I would share some of my completed diamond paintings with you guys. So these have been completed from, um, let's see, all of the month of July. No, let me take that back. All of August and then up to the day I'm filming in September, which is September, what's today? September 18th, I think. So all of August up through September 18th, these are all new diamond paintings that I have completed and I have not shared. Now I did notice as I brought them down here, I have a few diamonds that have escaped. So I'm gonna have to try to add those back in where they go on the paintings. Um, but I just thought I would share these with you. So if you're familiar with PS Toy Reviews or even this channel, you know we have a couple cats. One of them is Simon. This is a Simon right here. <laughs> He's like, stop. Stop touching my tail. Anyway, he he insists on being in the video and making a mess of my diamond painting. So, you know, try to film with cats, right? So hopefully he doesn't get a lot of fur all over these because if you diamond paint, you're probably familiar that sometimes the sticky, like here's fur right here. Sometimes the sticky comes out past the picture. So I'm fearing that he's furring these up, but I think the easiest thing to do is we're just gonna uncover these one by one, take a look at them, and then I'll move them out of the way. Um, that way you can see them all. So let's go ahead and just start with this little one. It must have stuck to him. He's like, oh, now you're gonna leave? Thank you, Simon. <laughs> okay, so this one right here, let's see, it doesn't have a size on it. Um, oh, great, he has fur all in the sticky. Now I have to go get the tweezers and pluck his cat fur off. Wonderful. <laughs> okay, um, this ticker, I wanna say this is like a 15 by 20. I bought a whole bunch of these because I got them for $2.97. Oh yeah, and just to let you guys know, I buy all of my diamond paintings either on Amazon, AliExpress, or eBay, but the bulk of them come from AliExpress. I'm not going to be linking to the stores down below because I notice most of these are not available, you know, in a week or two later, um, the links don't work. But if you're interested in any, the easiest thing to do like on AliExpress is just type in diamond painting character and then you'll get all the like character ones or like this one, you know, diamond painting girl or diamond painting lady and just kind of be um, general with your search terms. But okay, so I bought a whole bunch of these. I think they were $2.97 each. Like I said, I think it's like a 15 by 20. These are kind of like artsy kind of silhouettes of different Disney characters. I think I might have another one in here too. Here's another loose diamond. Um, but this is Tigger and it was a lot of fun. These are really fast ones to do. They don't take long. But so you can see here, this is a full square and I try to do full drills now only, which means the entire painting is covered with diamonds. Um, I did purchase, like I have a backlog of diamond paintings, probably, honestly, I probably have about a hundred. I know that's awful, but I'm just like so addicted to buying them, but I'm doing them too. So I think that's okay. <laughs> anyway, um, I did buy a bunch. So I have some that are partials still to do, but going forward, I will only be buying full because I just feel like you get more value for your money. Um, and so anyway, so here's Tigger. I don't know if you can see the sparkle. Sometimes it's hard to pick up on camera, but it's really sparkly and pretty and was a lot of fun. And here is my next one. I loved this one. So again, this one does not have a size on them. I thought most of them had sizes on them. I think this is a 30 by 30. Yeah, I think it's a 30 by 30. Um, this is a square drill, meaning the little diamonds are squares. And you can definitely see the sparkle and shine on this one. I thought this one came out really, really nice. Um, depending on the size of the diamond painting you get, some turn out better than others, which you'll see in a minute. Sometimes they can be really pixelated. Um, I thought this was a fantastic um, size for this one. And I just had a lot of fun doing this one. I don't know why, it just, the colors, it was just so vibrant and pretty. And like, as you did her dress here, and then you, um, these like folds in the dress, you're kind of like, why am I doing this weird little pattern of blues? 
but it just came out so, so nice. So there's that one. Next up we have Minnie Mouse. Now I saw um, Diamond Painting with Donnie had purchased this one and I think hers was around and she had a lot of problems with it. Like it was hard to see the canvas and whatnot. Mine was not that way. I don't know if it's because I bought a square and I did not use the same seller she did. So I think different sellers, um, you know, have different quality perhaps. But this one is not very big. I think this is only a maybe 20 by 25. And as you can see, I mean, it came out fantastic. I like, I absolutely love this Minnie Mouse. Again, it was so much fun to do. Even though it had a lot of black, um, it had enough grays and like, this is all purple down here and stuff. And I don't know, it's just, it's so cute. I think it was a lot of fun to do. And um, I, I would definitely recommend this one to people. Super, super shiny again. Okay, so this is one that I think was a work in progress in my last video. I absolutely adore this one. So this is my favorite diamond painting of all that I've completed so far. And I think I have completed, oh, I counted the other day. I think I've completed 25 in the couple months that I've been doing diamond painting. Um, so I'm pretty proud of that. <laughs> but anyway, this is my all time favorite. So we have Jasmine and Raja here from Disney. And it's, it's just so pretty, you guys. I just absolutely love it. Um, it's so, so shiny. I love that you can see kind of Agrabah out here in the background or, you know, out the window and, um, yeah, I just don't know what else to say about this one. It's amazing. So this is a 40 by 30. And my recommendation would be the busier the picture, like meaning the more stuff in the picture, like the smaller the people or main figures, the bigger you go, the more detail and clarity you're going to have. So as you can see on this one, this was a 30 by 40. It came out fantastic. But I'm going to show you a bigger one in a minute that did not come out so good. <laughs> So um, anyway, that is definitely something to look for in the sizing. But if you're doing a very simple thing like that Minnie Mouse or the Lady in the Hat, you can get a smaller size diamond painting. So anyway, I just love this one, you guys. I absolutely love it. Okay, next we have another diamond escaping. That is a black one, so it's not from this painting. I'll go back after the video and fix it. Okay, so this one is only a 20 by 25. And I thought that this size would be big enough um, because I didn't feel like the picture was that busy, but clearly I needed to go bigger um, to actually make this one come out well because um, it looks better through the camera than it does in person, I will tell you that. Um, the dolphin looks pretty good, but the girl, she is not looking so good in person. <laughs> So her facial features are very hard to tell. Her bathing suit is extremely hard to tell. It almost kind of like blends in with her skin tone. And I think this was supposed to be a dog right here on her surfboard with her. And in the camera, you can maybe kind of tell that, but in person, you cannot tell that. I mean, look at, the, <laughs> look at her face. Now diamond paintings do look better like the farther away you get from them the better they look but I mean this one's pretty bad so if you want this picture which is actually a really cute picture and it was a ton of fun to do um if you want this I would definitely recommend getting a larger size than 20 by 25 and again this was a square most of the ones I have are square Okay, next up is Donald Duck. So this is another one like the Tigger. Um, you know, it's the little like artsy kind of Donald Duck. I think he looks super duper cute. This one again was a lot of fun. I enjoy doing the Disney ones. Um, I'm a big Disney fan, so I find it to be a lot of fun. <laughs> but there is Donald Duck. He's super cool. And Donald Duck was my mom's favorite Disney character. And, um, you know, if, if you've seen the channel at all, you, you know, <laughs> but, 
Um, this just kind of made me think of her and remember her and um, that just made it extra special to do. So there's Donald Duck. Simon is walking on my pile of diamond paintings on the floor. Okay, I have another loose diamond. That one came out right there. So if the diamonds pop out, which sometimes they do, you can put them back in. Um, it's easier if you have the tool. There we go. But look, I have two missing right there. Those are probably some of the ones that fell. Um, one of the important things is if you want to keep the diamond paintings to display at some point, um, I would definitely recommend keeping them flat versus rolling them. And it also really helps like if you put a heavy book or something on them. Um, look, these are just all falling out. So some canvases are better than others. That leads me to this one. So I just lost a diamond. <laughs> this picture, this one I actually got from Amazon. I remember it because it was one of the first ones I purchased. The picture is beautiful. Like I just, I love this picture so much. Um, let's move those a little bit. So this picture, really, really pretty. It's this lady in the back, um, like from the back. She's in this beautiful like autumn or fall forest. The leaves are all changing colors. The sunlight is coming down. I just think it's beautiful. The size on this one is actually done in inches versus centimeters. So this one is um, a 12 by 16. I think the size was great, although you would get more detail if you went bigger because some of these leaves um, would stand out a little more if it was bigger, but I'm really happy with the size of this. I'm not happy with this particular canvas overall because the sticky on this one was just really bad. Like the diamonds are constantly popping off this one. So um, that's something, you know, that's kind of a bummer, but if you're gonna keep these, I would definitely recommend putting it behind glass and framing them when they're done because then the diamonds, you know, they'll stay put. But if you don't know what you're doing with it in the meantime, I would definitely recommend laying them completely flat. But so there's that one. This is a full square as well. And again, it's just very, very pretty. I love the colors in this one. It's like the perfect time of year for these colors. So Simon, they really don't want you moving the camera. He is rubbing on the tripod and shaking the camera. So sorry about that. Kitties are trouble. <laughs> okay, so next up I have this. This is Alice in Wonderland, but she's kind of done Day of the Dead style. So she has the cool mask. She's holding a skull, so it's a little bit twist on a normal Disney type picture. This is a 20 by 30. It is a full square as well. And I just think they did such an amazing job with her dress down here, the like ruffles and folds in her dress. Like it just looks like she's in action or something like she was twirling or something and the dress is all full. Um, I think that came out really well. 20 by 30 was obviously a big enough size for this. If you went bigger, it would just become even more clear, but I think this one is great. So if you don't have a lot of space, to hang things up or you don't like um, working on really big projects. I would definitely recommend these like Day of the Dead Princesses. They have a whole bunch. They have like Elsa and Jasmine. They had Alice. Um, oh, who else did they have? Oh, I can't remember now, but there's a whole bunch. I plan on getting some more, but first I have to work through some of my back stock of diamond paintings before I shop again. <laughs> but anyway, there's Alice. We're almost at the end. We have two left. Okay, for this video, this is my only round. So this is a full round. And if you can see here, the little diamonds or drills on this one are round. This is a 30 by 30 uh, unicorn. I'm not mistaken, but this looks to me like a Lisa Frank unicorn from the 80s, but who knows? <laughs> I don't know if it is or not but I saw it on AliExpress and I thought it was really adorable. I love all the beautiful rainbow hair and, um, ooh, you know what would be a good diamond painting? Rainbow bright. <laughs> yeah. 
I grew up with Rainbow Bright. That would be so cute. I wonder if they have some. I'll have to look. Anyway, Rainbow Unicorn is super awesome. A lot of fun to do. I find the round diamonds a lot quicker of a project to do than the squares. That's just me personally, but I personally like the squares better overall, but sometimes it's nice to do a good round one and just do it really quickly. So there's my unicorn. And last but not least, several of you had asked about this one. This is the biggest, whoa, sorry guys, hit the camera. This is the biggest diamond painting that I have done to date. This is my villain's diamond painting. So this is a 50 by 40. This one took a very long time. Actually, honestly, I felt like it was never gonna end. <laughs> um, I took a break when doing this one and worked on other ones in between because I was kind of getting burned out on this one and then I'd come back to it. The reason why I was getting burned out on it is this one has a lot of what's considered or called confetti like all the borders here. And basically just what that means is that you have to change colors like constantly. So that was a lot of work that kind of became to be a lot. <laughs> so like I said, I'd take a break, but I finished it. It's awesome. I will tell you, this is a 50 by 40. I see in the camera, it looks pretty good. In person, it does not. <laughs> It looks good if you get really far away. When I say really far away, I, I mean like six to eight feet away, then it looks really good and you can kind of see the detail on their faces a little bit. But in person, she looks scary and she looks scary. Like it doesn't even look like they have faces. Maleficent does not look like she has a face in person. Krell is okay, um, the Evil Queen's okay, and Ursula's okay in person. But these three down here, woo, they are rough. <laughs> So anyway, um, if you want to do one of these villain paintings and you want to frame it and enjoy it even up close, I would definitely recommend going larger than 50 by 40, but keep in mind it's going to take a really long time to do. <laughs> so there you go. That is my completed diamond paintings for about the last month and a half. Um, like I said, there are a lot more that I want to buy because there are just so many amazing ones. and. Um, AliExpress is really cheap, but if you don't like AliExpress, eBay is an option, Amazon is an option, and I just noticed recently that you can also get them on Etsy. So those are all places that you can look, um, and yeah, I want to shop more, but I have too many. I already shopped too much, so I need to work through some of the stuff I have before I buy more. But that is it. That's going to do it. Leave a comment down below and let me know which one of the diamond paintings I showed in this video was your favorite. I would love to know. And if you guys have a video where you show your completed works, please let me know down in the comments. Um, I've been watching like pretty much every diamond painting video I can find. And I don't see too many that show a lot of completed stuff. So I would really like to see that because I think it's great to see the hauls. Um, it's great to see um, the reviews, but I just, I love seeing the completed ones too. So go ahead and let me know down in the comments if that's something you have on your channel. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I will see you guys soon.